Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday. Veterans Day is November 10th. <laughs> November 10th today. So, as you can see, I have taken my hair out. I've washed it. I put it in this little ponytail. Just letting it kind of air dry a little bit. Um, my goal today is to get my hair done. It's going to be kind of like a self-care day. I mean, like, all the way around. I want to get my hair done. I'm going to shoot to the store. Nani's still not feeling good, so I'm going to get her some um, honey and lemon for her throat so I can make her some tea. Um, I do want to get a mop because I really want to scrub these floors today and get the house clean. I got to get a shower curtain and what else? I think that's it. Oh, I did get some new lash glue. So I've been kind of seeing who has Lash, good lash glue. So this is the next one on my list. It is uh, Fat Lash Bond and Seal. So this just came um, yesterday. And I have two sets of lashes that I ordered. So the other set should be here today. But I have these little spiky ones. I love that kind of like dramatic flare at the end. So we got those. So that is kind of what we're doing. Hair, lashes. I'm going to do my eyebrows and get my house clean today. Everybody's home. Ray's off. Nani's home. The house is a mess. For real. A mess. Like, I need to clean the bathroom, the kitchen, the living room. I need to do floors. I need to do laundry. I think I'm going to go to the laundromat just because I want to get it, like, one and done. Like, one wash, one dry, and then come home and I can fold everything up here. But I think that's what I want to do. Otherwise, it just takes all flipping day. All day. And I don't feel like doing that all day. Um, so I want to enjoy the day. It's a free off day. Oh, I do have um, a doctor's appointment at, I think it's 9.30. So I better get going on my hair. Right now, it is, what's that say? I can't read both words. It's 7.10, so I can get my hair done in the next hour. But it has to dry a little bit more. I'm thinking what I want to do is a bang with a half up pony and fingers crossed. Okay, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, what's up? It is now Saturday. No, it is not. In my mind, it's Saturday. It is still Friday. Still the, the 10th um, Veterans Day. And I went to Walmart. So I got um, the Walmart brand of some of my favorite brands. Just I want to try them out. I always go ahead and spend the extra dollar. But I want to kind of start using more dupes. Seeing it, you know, how they work against the, the name brand. So... Um, I use CeraVe and Cetaphil, and this is the comparable um, daily facial moisturizer. It has uh, SPF 15. It is comparable to the uh, Cetaphil that I was using before. So we're going to try this. So I just finished that um, bottle. So I can kind of know exactly what it feels like. I ran out of my face soap a while ago. Um, I'm kind of using this um, bar of aloe vera ambi. Um, but I just threw the little, just the little piece to just throw out. But um, this is comparable to the CeraVe Foamy Facial Cleanser. And this is for normal to oily skin. It says it's non-drying, not irritating. Um, it has ceramides, niacinamide. I always have to slow that sugar down. Um, and sodium um, hyaluronic. Um, so we're gonna try that out. 
Now, <clears throat> what I don't usually use, but I wanted to start incorporating into my routine is a collagen moisturizer. This is a regenerating daily cleanser. I usually double cleanse my face with um, the uh, soap I use, the CeraVe soap I use, and then Maxima, so I've always kind of double cleanse my face. Um, so this one is the dupe for the Regenerist um, Regenerating Cream Cleanser from Oil of Olay. And this is the Collagen Moisturizer um, Filler, which is comparable to the L'Oreal version. So these are all the Equate versions, which is the Walmart version. Um, if you know, you know, most of the brands are exactly the same and they just have different packaging. So I also looked at a couple of these masks. I have one from Vina Mask Daily and one from Real Beauty. I have a collagen mask. And this one, actually, these are pads. And these are Ultra Hydrating Radiance Pads in this watermelon. I don't know what it said. The flavor is watermelon. It is supposed to exfoliate, tone, brighten, and hydrate it. <clears throat> hydrate your skin. It's double-sided pads. This has um, watermelon extract, multi-molecular hyaluronic complex multivitamins, vegan collagen booster, and probiotics. So I have uh, this event tomorrow that we're going out, girls night. So my skin is not the man that it could be. So I have these like dark circles. It's kind of puffy. I, mm, I wouldn't say I'm dry, but I might be. I might be dry. I've been really like sucking down water. So Hopefully that'll work. Um, I keep forgetting to order those little wristbands. I need to go on um, Amazon and wear those today. So, comes in this little jar. It says, um, let me go to the directions. Use daily or nightly on the face. Part of your daily facial regimen. Let's take a smell. It smells like cold cream. This smells like cold cream. Okay. Oh, that smells good. That smells like. It smells uh, like pineapple y, papaya y, kind of. <clears throat> okay. I was wondering because it has an SPF in it if it was going to give a. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that like shine? And this is my other hand. Like, it's giving moisture. This is. It's dry. It's shiny though. But like, if we can compare it, that's nice. All right, and these pads are resealable, so let's take a whiff of these. I don't smell anything, and it definitely doesn't smell like watermelon. We'll, we'll try it out. Some product, and this is the Real Beauty Collagen Mask. It's supposed to plump and smooth. It's free of a lot of terrible things, so that's awesome. Um, it says it's a bamboo sheet, hydrating serum sheet, perfect fit. Fit. It has um, hydrolyzed collagen, wheat amino acids, and licorice root. 
Um, pretty simple, it's a 10 minute mask, 10 to 20 minutes. I use tomorrow after my skin. Oh, should I do it tonight? I might do this one tonight. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait to do it tomorrow. Okay. So that's what I got. Um, I also got a new shower curtain because that one was, it was time. And a new liner. But that's it. I cleaned the bathroom, so now I have to go clean the rest of the house. Uh, Raymond started the laundry, so I think that's why the laundry still empty. Um, laundry room. <laughs> so we go grab that. Sorry, I also had a couple of edibles, so I'm like very calm and collected, and like focused, but not. Anyhow, I also made some um, stuffed shells for my daughter's godma because it's her birthday and that's what she wanted. So, I'm actually getting ready to take those out of the oven if they are browned. And then turn some music on. not brown yet turn some music on and get cleaning anyway i like this little shirt it's cute and i just got on my brown leggings i'm so sick of nuts anyway i just thought i'd check in with you guys show you that oh wait oh this 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 i don't like they're bangs and then i made a mistake and i like blow dry them this way and then so now this part is straight and it's stupid so I'm literally going to have to take it off and redo it but I'll do that tomorrow. I, I don't feel like it. And then I have a little ponytail that I made into like a little messy bun but I don't even know if I like that. So truth be told it all might come down in the front tomorrow. Just being honest. You know me. I'm a girl that keeps on with her with her hairstyle, but this is like a half up, half down ponytail, and it's kind of cute. Actually, I do like it, but um, um. <clears throat> so my lashes came in. These ones are the. It should be the fairy. It says natural cluster. This is individual lash. So it doesn't have the actual name that I ordered on it. The brand is Jania. So I ordered, and I'll probably do this as a TikTok, so make sure you guys are following me over on TikTok as I do my little installation, because I actually bought a new glue tube this is the um, Bond and Seal from Fad Lash. I'm going to try this out. A lot of people on TikTok have been really, um, raving about this. But these are so cute. Can you guys see? It has like a little wispy. I love that. Super cute. And then this side is... So it's like little spikies. Can you see that? That's so cute. So I'm gonna use those two with my new glue. Good morning, you guys. So you can see I have my collagen mask on. This actually feels really nice and it's a good fit. It ain't going nowhere. So I'm gonna let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes. I have used both of these. Um, cleansing soaps. I used them um, um, last night before bed and this morning. I also tried these. These are really good for scrubbing um, the cleansers on. No smell, so that's good. Um, the two moisturizers, top tier. Don't have to talk about those. They're excellent. So it is probably about 7.30 in the morning. I'm getting ready to find my Guisha. I, I don't know what that happened to it. I know it's in here, in the bathroom. Guisha. But I just don't know where the heck it went. 
Anyway, I'm gonna have my Leisha do some manipulations to my jaw and my under eye line because I don't know if you can see, but there's like some baby bags. The color, this coloration though is actually not bad today. So anyway, I'm gonna find my Gleisha. It, I will say it's burning a little only because I did micro needling to my face before I put the mask on because this is collagen. I really wanted to deep penetrate. So I did micro needling um, under my eyes my forehead area, my chin. So it's a little bit of a burn, but nothing uncomfortable. All right, let me find my guisha. All right, guys, I found my guisha. It's right here. It's a jade one. It's really, I was in a freezer, so that's good. So right now I'm just gonna use it to press right under my eye. It's so cold. Just under my eyes. It feels good. It was so cold though. That'll help with the puffiness. And then I'm just gonna kind of show you you have the different sides. So you wanna make sure you moving up. If gravity goes down, you want this joker to go up. So I'm gonna smooth it that way. You have this side. I'm gonna use to go up again like this. And then again on my forehead, going up. Okay. This though. I love this. Carl got that jawline, cause baby, I don't got one no more. So I'll do this for about the 10 minutes that is the mask is on. And then I will um, basically pat in what's on the mask cause my face is super clean underneath. And then I'll go ahead and apply my moisturizer and SPFs, so. After that is lash tie, baby. And you make sure you follow me over on TikTok so you can see it, or even check out my shorts. I'll make sure to bring them over to my shorts and YouTube, but you guys aren't following me over on TikTok. Why? Just follow me, follow me on TikTok. You don't have to follow me on Facebook, that's fine. Nobody's really on Facebook, I get it, or meta or whatever you want to call it but <clears throat> baby make sure you are following make sure you subscribe and you guys make sure you comment i i i, I do this stuff because i think you guys are interested because i run into a lot of you guys kind of like on the street <clears throat> you know not just family and friends but you know i do meet people and they're like, oh, I like your like review videos and things like that. So give me some things you want me to review. Um, you know me, I'm a thrifter. I like saving money. It, I like have nice things too. So if I can find nice things and save money using, you know, in the process, baby. So I will. All right, I'm gonna look absolutely amazing tonight. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I got this fan from the beauty supply. It was $8.99. It comes with a stand that has a little sticky thing on that I could stick it somewhere, but I don't want to do that. Um, it is rechargeable. It has rechargeable battery in it, and it has three speeds. One, two, three. We are going to help this set into my skin. And then I will put on the, uh, it's the CeraVe Moisturizer Dupe with an SPF um, 15. I probably could go for a little higher SPF, but it's fall and um, it's going under my makeup. And some of my makeup has SPF in it too, so that's good. All right. Last thing is the pumps. Again, we're warming it up in our fingers. And this one on my neck. And move up.
my nose is really dry too, by the way, because my allergies are like on 11. So I've been blowing my nose a lot. I also put it on my eyelids. My eyelids are getting really thin. And I noticed like right here, in this little area, it gets really dry. So I like to make sure that that's moisturized. And this guys, I'm doing this hours before I have to do my makeup. Hours so that it has time to penetrate. Get in there. Really deep penetrate your skin. <clears throat> really like get in there and let it work its magic. It's literally 7.54. I'm not leaving out of here until six o'clock tonight. Maybe like even 6.15. So, and even before I do my makeup, I'm probably still gonna do a light wash because I've been walking around in the world all day at that point. So my skin is gonna have, you know, dirt and grime on it from just general everyday life. So, me washing my face and getting the moisturizer and everything on there now and letting it really seep into my skin and work <clears throat> is imperative because when I wash my face later on today and I, you know, re-moisturize now, it's not going on for the first time. It's not like having to extra work. It's just going to help out my makeup so much and like with that mask I'll go stand in the sunlight but I am an actor that played the role I'm a big Star Wars and Star Trek fan I'm a Trekkie more than anything else so don't hate anyway ooh where's the sunlight yeah it is like oh I'm not in the sunlight am I I don't know where the sun is right now. I can't find the sun. There it is. All right, so the skin is skinny. You can see it's like got a nice little glow to it. It's feeling, it looks a little plumpier. Um, I don't have a break. I was getting one on my nose, so I think it's gone now. I don't see it. And I don't get no break breakouts on my nose, honestly. If ever, ever a bump comes there, it's like usually gone in the same path, but the skin and it's looking great all right guys i see you on everyone <laughs>
All right, you guys. Your girl is dressed to impress. Hair is redone. I know. I redid it. And then I freaked it out because you know I didn't have enough hair. But your girl keeps hair under the cabinet, baby. Plenty of it. So we're headed to Basan in Detroit for dinner. I have to figure out where to park. I don't even know where this restaurant is, honestly. This is downtown Detroit. And then we are going to um, Willow, which is a um, black home speakeasy bar. So it'll be fun. And then Gigi's, which is, I've been to Gigi's before actually. I've actually been to Gigi's twice. Now I think about it, I've been to Gigi's twice. Um, they're doing bingo, so that's nice. And I think there's free parking there. I have been at Gigi's. I don't know why I didn't think about it. So it's gonna be fun. I would drive with you, but I have to get directions, so. Sorry. Watch me about to go up to the First of all, I just want to say, hi. Hi. Awesome. You said awesome at the same time. That's my favorite word. I try. Thank you, Angel. Do you know what water you prefer to start with? Flat. Flat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring that right over. Do you, um, is this our first time here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll explain how the drinks are. The first drink okay. is the cocktails. If you like something refreshing, the she's so pretty is a really good one. The cucumber mint. Okay. If you like more tropical drinks, like tiki style, a little smokiness from the mezcal, it takes two. It's perfect. <laughs> If you like a more citrus drink, like an alcohol spritz, but much more citrus forward, like it's like grapefruit, lemon, and plum, the bangering spritz is a great option. And then if you like a slow sip or like an old fashioned, the Basa Basa old fashioned we have is very good. It's going to have a lighter body than a typical old fashioned because it uses a Japanese whiskey. Those are lighter on the body than how heavy bourbon usually are. How is the international lover? It's really good. It used to be gory sake, so it's going to give it a little creamy taste, and the gory is already up. Okay. Yeah. Really I good, to a whole All the cocktails are good. Awesome. Even the RDR, that one's a honey vanilla one. Forgot to mention that. It's gonna okay. have honey do cubes in it too. It's really cute. Okay. And then on the back of that, by the way, it's a beer. Yeah. We have asahi or it's a staggy. We have Miller's Life. We're out of the cure and the itchy dog. Mm -hmm. Then the sake, right? And on the back of the sake, it's a beer. But I'll explain how the dining experience works once I bring the water over. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. First of all, my my camera just seized up because it was so cold. Now we look better. Okay. Take our picture. Are you taking a picture? I am now. Oh, I'm living. I don't know. I really love the fermented things now. Yes, you. Sucker punch, and you got the international lover. Yeah, that's cute. And then, what did you get, Heather? If you know, you know. No, I, 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 I didn't know. I, I didn't get it either. I did. So this is. Not the boots, though. I forgot to change the boots. The boots are in the car. But this is a cute little spot, though. That's better. Hold on. That's the outfit. This is my little wrap. Are they super hot? No. That was very Walmart classy of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> mm. I would do the same thing. Is it good? Mm. Heather 
was all like fancy getting her for the fuck out of them. This is good. What is it made out of? It smells really smoky. Yeah, Why that's really cute. My hair is getting on my nerves. I still in the process of cutting it. So I have like little hairs everywhere and it's like tickling my nose and I'm trying to find a spot where it won't tickle, but I'm not. So anyway, we have made it to Gigi. So, so far we went to Basan in Detroit. Um, it was kind of slow, you know, server was awesome amazing she did amazing um but yeah it was just really slow so we were there late and the food was slow so that pushed us back later to go to willow so we didn't go to the little speakeasy willow until geez almost 10 o'clock so but it was cool, nice vibe, good music, um, really nice decor, smelled amazing. I don't know what that was about, but it, it smelled so good in there. But again, we ordered drinks and then we sat for like a long time. And then like, and they don't even serve food. So I'm not even sure why the drinks took so long. Um, Cause they only kind of do drinks as their thing. But anyway, that didn't work out so we literally just got ready to leave and as we were walking out she was putting the drinks down so you know we were like sorry pumpkin we gotta go we were supposed to be at Gigi's at 10 o'clock it's 10 43 so yeah that So anyway, I, um, I'm here just waiting on the girlies to show up and, um, Ashton actually went home. It was really expensive. That's what I will say. I will say that the, um, the two spots were very expensive. So that sucked. I did get chicken. Now the pork bun, delicious at Basan. Um, the chicken, the chicken is good, but we left. I couldn't eat it. I just told him to box it up, get it to go, because we didn't have time. So, that. Um, yeah. So now I'm just, like I said, waiting on the girls. I just did my lipstick. We'll do a hair check. Kind of. I'm going to switch out to my heels because we're going to a drag show. So, I got to put on that. My camera is so dirty. Thank you. 